are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsev, hey? I'm your host, Belsev. Freaking right I am. Like I said, I promised you on the last video that I'd show you some sewing. So let's get to her, boys, and we'll get freaking sewing, we will. So I got you pretty close to me here. Hopefully you can see what's really going on because I don't know how else to do this, to be honest with you. We're running out of Kenmore 2, which is about 20 years old, boys. And like I said last night, I had a seize up on it, but I took her apart, lubed her up. Now I think we're good to go, we are. So. Let's get this goddamn thing up and friggin' running. Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Now, this is the first thing Dirty Old Bilso does that uh, doesn't make any noise. Listen to her. She's pretty quiet, she is. Not much noise here, boys. Frig, no, there's not. It's gonna be friggin' awesome. So, we'll stick this in and we'll, uh, we'll cock her down, Jim. So, how you wanna do this is you wanna start by lining up your doodad and make sure you have your whatnots in order and, uh, Start giving her, boys. So we want to go about there we do. So first thing I do is you you get into her, you back up, you get into her, you back up, and you go away. Eh? I know I back up one too many times, but I like to make sure it's not gonna come loose, I don't. So how I do is I just floor it, and eh? just hit the throttle and give her, boys. And uh, just make sure you keep her nice and straight. And look at me go, eh? You think I was a professional. Friggin' right you would. But listen how quiet the machine is. You should have heard this thing before I fixed it. So then you just want to make sure your needle's up, lift up the gain control knob, and pull her out, boys. And then trim her up, eh? Give her a trim job. Just like that. So, there you go. We got our first line, and we got our first fold we do. First line and first fold, boys. So now we got to flip her over, and we'll do the same on the other side. Now remember, if you're just, you know, starting off here, and you're new like I am, I screwed up the first time, and I'm gonna warn you guys because you guys will probably screw up too, like I did, because that's the way we work. That's the way guys are. We always screw up, boys, girls, peoples, or boys, period. Make sure you do your verticals first because what ends up happening is I'll show you in a few minutes. Friggin' right up, no? So let's get our line nice and straight here, or as straight as possible, because you know, this is no uh, rocket science here. It's just a friggin' curtain, boys. Can you see me? How you doing over there? How the hell you doing? How do you not enjoy that? How is that not friggin' fun? Friggin' life with Bilsev is a riot it is, hey? Who'd ever think you'd be sewing with me? Not me, that's for damn sure. So there we go, there's both that side and that side done. Jim. So, now what we wanna do is we wanna take the curtain we already made, which is right here, and see how I did a double line? This is what I was talking about. See, so you do a double. So this, this sits up above, it gives it, when it's crunched up, it gives it that little puffy look thing. And then you want to just do another line so the rod will fit into her, boys. Now, it doesn't have to be straight unless you're real picky, but mine's pretty straight. That's not too bad for a freehander. This material definitely helps. If you're working with plain material, it's really hard to keep a straight line. But when you're working with material that's got pattern on it, you can follow the pattern you can. That's what I found. And I'm no profesh, eh? This is the reason why you do the sides first. You do the sides first because when you sew this over this way for the rod, if you sew this after, then you close your hole. And then you can't get the rod in, boys. That's the way she is, eh? So, let's do the top part. And I'll use my uh, use my other curtain as a template here. Because I want to make sure she's pretty, pretty, pretty close, eh? She's got to be pretty close, boys. So, we're about right there, Jim. Perfect. We'll get this in the, the sewing machiner and we'll lock her down. So that way I know whereabouts I gotta go. Joe, if you know what I'm saying. Decent. All right, so, well, there, hey? Eh? What do you think, dudes? What do you think, boys? She's pretty freaking good right there, yeah. We're just gonna do a double backwards. There we go. Keep the line nice and straight. Follow her as best you can. Like I said, we're not perfect, so just do your best. For freak's sakes. Like I am, I am just doing my best. Give her another little foldy foldy here. It's really hard to keep straight, it really is. So you'll find that out. Unless you're a professional sewer, you'll find it hard, boys. I found her hard to keep straight, I did. But I'm getting better every time I sew. This is like the fourth curtain I've done now, so I'm actually starting to get better at it already. Why wouldn't I? Oh yeah, 
I don't know what it is, but someone's kind of relaxing in it. <laughs> I should have been so those of years ago, Jeff. <laughs> Freaking right I should have been. This is awesome. Careful. Easy. Dental. There you go. So there's one line. And now we gotta do our, our our rod line. Which is, careful, about right there. Yeah, that looks about right, me. Eh? All you can do is guess. That's all we all can do. Unless you wanna get up the tape measure, but I'm not into tape measures. So if I sit way back, I will see my line a lot better. Right? Just kinda go lean back, eh? Just let her eat. All by herself, she is all I can do is guide her. Captain, keep that line nice and even so you can get your curtain rod through her. <laughs> so there you go. That's how you do a balance with Bilsif. Oh, we're not done yet. We gotta do one more on the bottom. Don't let me forget stuff like that, okay? Frank, where were you on that one? Don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Why the hell wouldn't you? I know you guys are gonna think you're a dick. Like, what the hell are you sewing for? What's really going on? But boys, it's fun. You don't know what it is until you try it, eh? Don't diss until you try. Isn't that what they say? Something like that. So we need to get a mark here, so we're gonna go half a staff. Okay, decent. Decent. Here we go, boys. We're gonna try to take our time with this one a little bit. Slow down just a little on the last one. Cause we're this far now, you don't want to dick her over, boys. No dicky over. Just so you know, the foot pedal is different speeds. Okay? If you need to slow down, all you do is push it lightly. See, you can go real slow if you want, but I like floor. I like everything floor. All right, dude. Easy. There you go, boys. Curtain done. Or right, balance, balance, balance. Balance done. Jim. The reason why you go back and forth on the thread, in case you don't know, is uh, to lock her in. It's like tying a knot. So there we go. That one should match that one for the other window. It'll be a tad shorter, but uh, there she is. So that one's done. So now, all we gotta do is go up and get the curtains, cut them, because I got two more curtains to make. Don't think I'm gonna show you that on the video because you've just seen how it's done. That's how it's done, but in a bigger scale. So we'll get that done and then we'll uh, we'll show you the grand finale, eh? All right, so stay tuned, boys. Well, there we go. They're all done. What do you think? Leave her comments down below. Why wouldn't you? The only thing I noticed I didn't do that I gotta do is I gotta take them back off and I gotta do a double fold. See how that shreds a little bit? If you do a double fold and then sew it again, you get rid of that, you do. So I gotta do that still, but uh, that's at another time it is. Like I said, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Why wouldn't you? I think they look pretty friggin' decent. For an amateur sewer? Hey, we got a new hobby now, so I'm with Delson. Why wouldn't you? I won't show you too much of this though, because some of you might not like it. But like I said, let me know down below if you do like it. And I'll do some more of it. Why wouldn't I? I gotta make some pillowcases and this and that and the other thing. Make some curtains for the old office risky up here. And uh, that's not the other thing, hey? Why the hell wouldn't I? Frick, I got the technology I can do there. I wanna get a stinger. Heavy duty though, or something, because this is, like I said, my grandmother's. I got her tuned up, she's working real good, and I'll give it back to her now. Even though she's 96 years old, she probably never sew again, but hey, you never know, eh? She said, make sure you bring my machine back in case I want to sew, so you never know. Good old grandma. Love her soul, I do. Turn it right, I do. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good night, not doing anything I ain't doing, and uh... You know what to do for now. <laughs>